Hello, this is Greg Maxwell with Amicus Settlement Planners. We're going to talk briefly today about qualified settlement funds, or QSFs, and how you can use them in your practice to speed up settlement, to get the money out of the defense's hands quicker, to do a variety of things. They have a lot of various uses and advantages, so we're going to go through those very briefly. Just as a general overview, a qualified settlement fund is a fund or an account essentially that is overseen by a court to hold the settlement proceeds. It's established in the United States Code under Section 468B, and it's been around since the late 1970s. They were initially contemplated for multiple claimant settlements or mass tort type settlements, but they can be used in single event cases just as easily. So let's talk about some of the advantages to plaintiffs. The nice thing about a QSF from the plaintiff side is that you can have a cash release signed, have the defense send the money into the QSF, and that allows you some time to then negotiate any liens that may be out there or then do the settlement planning that you may need to do without the defense's involvement, without them looking over everything that you're doing. It just provides a little bit of breathing space so that you can know that the funds are out of the defense's hands, they're in a safe place, gives you time and space to handle all the issues that may come up at that time also allows you to benefit from the interest that's earned on the settlement proceeds. So instead of them sitting in the defense's account, they're now in a, in a QSF account earning interest for your client's benefit. Another advantage is that it avoids constructive receipt. And so if your client may want to do a structured settlement annuity, or if you would like to annuitize some of your legal fee, you can still do that out of a qualified settlement fund. It does not trigger constructive receipt. As I mentioned, it provides time for you, for us or whoever your settlement planner is to make the necessary determinations about whether a special needs trust is needed, whether a Medicare set aside account is needed and other settlement planning issues that may arise. And then again, it protects the settlement from the defense's creditors. If you've got a defendant that you're worried that may go out of business or may be subject to other liens or lawsuits or creditors, you can get the money out of their hands and into a QSF as soon as possible. There are also advantages for defendants, so it's not all just advantages for the plaintiff side. Some of the advantages for the defendants is they can disengage from the litigation quickly. They can sign a cash release and be done. It also gives them the current year tax deduction that sometimes they're looking for if you're settling the case towards the end of the year. It also just reduces their legal costs and frees up their resources. And then it allows you and them to settle with multiple defendants in a single check so they can be out of the out of the litigation more easily. Some of the advantages for attorneys, specifically plaintiff attorneys, is that it gives you time to evaluate the client's needs, needs-based benefits, government benefits, uh, and avoid some of that failure to inform liability. It avoids the constructive receipt issue, which allows you to use an attorney fee deferral annuity if you'd like to. Also, if the money gets into that QSF, you can often petition the court to have your fees paid more quickly. So you get paid more quickly if, if you want and need to. And then usually the cost of the QSF is essentially just the, the fee that you're paying our firm or another firm to establish it and run it for you. And that's generally a cost that is paid as a case expense by the client. And the interest that it earns while it's in the QSF goes to offset those fees. So generally, it, it turns out to be a a win-win situation for both the defendant, for you as the attorney, and also for your client. And I think the biggest advantage is it just provides everyone a little breathing space to where we can handle all the benefits, do all the lien resolution without the defendant's involvement, get the check, get it in a QSF, and go from there. We do several of these each year on lots of different types of cases. So if you think a QSF might make sense in one of your cases, please feel free to give us a call. We'd love to chat with you about it.